guys, it's Sarah. Um, I just want to do a little video of encouragement. Um, I wanted to let you guys know a little bit about me and what I was prior to Beachbody and what I am now. And I'm kind of hoping that this might help you guys out to see that people have struggled and fought through their struggles and have gotten through them. So prior to Beachbody, I worked as a nurse um, in a high stressful job. Um, and I wasn't loving what I was doing anymore. I got into work to, or got into nursing to actually help people, and I feel like I wasn't doing that. Um, I know nursing, yes, I'm supposed to help people, but it became a lot of paperwork, and I just felt like I wasn't doing what God really called me to do. So, um, Laura approached me about Beachbody, and I was like, okay, let's do it. I jumped right on in, um, not knowing anything really about it. Um, <laughs> I probably was her easiest customer. I have no idea. Um, but literally from the second I clicked OK and submitted the coach um, application or whatever, I hit obstacles after obstacles after obstacles. Financial obstacles. Um, my babysitter quit, so I had no way to even work as a nurse um, unless I found another one. And I really was picky who watched my kid. I know, weird. I don't know. Um, I was getting sick. I had a growth. It was huge. Got infected. Made my whole body sick. Um, so I had to have surgery. And I was like, there's no way that I can do this. And I wanted to quit. And my husband said, don't quit. Keep going because you've always quit everything you started. I know. I have a husband who calls me out. Well, I love him for it, but dang, he calls me out. So he said, don't quit. Keep going and keep moving forward with this because you love fitness and just keep on going. So I did, and it was very difficult. It was hard because I was juggling a baby at home who was running around like crazy, and it's like a whole new world. Um, and I was working from home, had to try and figure out my time management issues. I still struggle with that. Um, but with my financial state, I had to make Beachbody work. Um, Laura can testify I had $17 in my account at one point, and I think at some point I probably went into the negatives. Yes, I was that person. I hope being transparent will help you, but this was me. Um, but now I am successful. I am making almost what I was making as a nurse a week. So I am getting there. I am, I'm getting there. And I finally have dreams that I can see and know that they're attainable and visual and I can see myself there. And I actually made up a quote the other night and I know, look, see, I'm getting smarter as it goes. Beachbody makes you smarter. Um, I made up a quote and I said, if you never visualize yourself at the end of your goal, you'll always be hoping that you get there. And that is something that I'm starting to live by. Um, and I can say it's by me. So I am actually visualizing myself um, at the end of my goal. And my goal is to bring my husband home and what that would be like in my house, um, to have him home and to have us together. So before Beachbody, I was not confident. I had no leadership skills. I was working as an unconfident nurse and really hated my job. And I desperately wanted to be home with my son. Now, after Beachbody, I have gained leadership potential and skills, I guess. And I'm growing a team and hopefully pouring into them and growing them as leaders. I um, am staying at home with my son. And I'm becoming successful and making money. And also, invest in every opportunity that you have. Um, meeting Success Club is huge. I've met Success Club even through my obstacles and... Um, um, even through my obstacles and sickness and financial, I made that a goal that I was going to hit Success Club every month. Um, and because of that, my business has grown a lot. And you see even the top leaders say this, hit Success Club consecutively every month because you're getting customers that are just dumped into your back office. And because of that, I have two right now that are joining my August challenge. I hopefully crush fingers, but I've been in contact with them. And it was just for me just simply saying, hey, how are you? I'm your coach. I would love to know your goals and how I can help you. And that was it. And they just fed on that. So hit Success Club every month. Um, have confidence in yourself because you wouldn't be here if somebody didn't have confidence in you. So start believing that you can do it. And third of all, invest in every opportunity that comes around, um, whether you're at the grocery store or somebody gets dumped into your back office. So do that, and you're going to see success in your business. Keep persevering for those obstacles. Use me as an example. I've made it. I'm doing it, and I'm not stopping here. So hope you guys, hope this helps. Um, for newbies out there, don't get discouraged. Keep moving forward, and we're all here to help. We're all as a team. We all want to see everybody succeed. So um, 
I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope this helps a little bit. Sorry if I was so transparent or gross. But anyways, talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye.